Okay, so following on from um, the videos that I've already done on this AGT Vixen, I just thought I'd fill you in on where I am currently up to. So I've actually used it out in the field now uh, a couple of times at night uh, with the, uh, the new 4K Hit Micro Alpex on board. I'm exceptionally happy with this um, particular a bit of kit, the scope's really, really good. Day and night performance has been superb. Um, so I just thought I'd fill you up to where I'm up to and um, how I have modified this so far. So these things are immensely modifiable. And you look on uh, YouTube or Facebook groups or whatever and you see all sorts of modifications. So they've got different pistol grips because it's just a standard AR-15 pistol grip. So you can fit it up with all sorts of different ones. Different butts are available on eBay that you can buy um, with monopods and all sorts of other things. Um, you can also get a carbon fibre shrouded, uh, carbon fibre moddy for it, um, again on eBay. Um, plus different types of mag holders. So the first thing I bought was this new, uh, the mag holder. Uh, this is the proper AGT version. Um, but to be honest with you, I think the first thing that I should have done uh, and the first modification I should have made is the one that I made the other week. And that is to change this plastic hang rail that's on the original one and swap it over for this new one that I've got on it now, which is the aluminium version. Um, it's like a billeted aluminium one. And the reasons are... The plastic one, whilst it looks very nice and is very durable, which it is, is a very tight fit on the shroud. Um, so now what that means is that if you rest it on a bag or you grab it particularly forcefully with your hand or you're leaning it on a fence to take a shot, the handrail will come into contact with the barrel, uh, with the shroud, which is directly attached to the barrel on these rifles. Um, and in effect, it can give you a quite dramatic POI shift if you're not careful. Uh, making the rifle quite hole sensitive because as everyone knows you shouldn't rest your barrel on anything when you shoot it and in effect by grabbing the front rail which is pressing against the barrel shroud um, that is what you're doing with this. Um, so if you get the metal one you will look if you look down there you will see that there is a big if you look here where I'm pointing there's a lot more clearance um, it's quite dramatic the difference in clearance between the metal one and again on the tops there's a real big um, clearance between the rail and the shroud. Now what this means is, and because it's metal as well it's solid, um, that you can grip it firmly, lean it on stuff, lean it on a shooting bag, lean it on a fence, whatever. Uh, and it will not touch the barrel and it, therefore it will not alter your um, POI. So I think the key to these Vixens is if you're going to modify one, um, if I was you, the very first thing I would change, if I was going to change anything, would be the uh, this handrail because it will make a difference to the way the rifle shoots. Now people say that these things are a bit noisier than most. Um, it has to be true that it's not as quiet as an air rifle fitted with a, uh, a moderator, a silencer. But it's a lot quieter than most shrouded barrels that are shot on their own. Um, and it is by no means a loud rifle. Out in the field, this thing is quiet. It's not hush quiet, but it's quiet. Um, I was out last night on the golf course shooting rabbits with this thing. Um, and you know, get multiple shots at a group of rabbits, take two down in a group, and the others are not particularly perturbed uh, with the sound, and there was no wind. So, you know, downrange, this thing's quiet. There's no need to, to panic. It's not super quiet, and apparently the carbon fiber moddies do make them quieter, but you can live with what it's got for the moment. But the handrail, I think, is something really that 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 needs changing i am quite surprised that they didn't fit the hammer uh, the, the metal handrails to these rifles from the factory 
uh, because it is a considerable upgrade to the rifle. So apart from that, what else have I done? Well, in truth, nothing. Um, I put that on and I bought the proper AGT uh, magazine holder, um, which is just quite handy for sticking uh, sticking your extra mags in. Um, the moderator, I was going to buy one, um, but there's quite a waiting time on them, um, so I decided not to bother. And the pistol grip, at the minute, I'm quite happy with that, though I will be changing it for probably a wooden um, grip with a, with a palm rest, probably, um, in all likelihood. Um, probably one of those form ones, form make rather nice pistol grips for these rifles, uh, and they do look, look the biz on them as well. The other thing, coming on to slightly different, off the AGT Vixen now onto the site, the Alpex, I bought the Alpex um, torch mount. Now I think this is one of the best torch mounts going. It's really well designed and extraordinarily well made. A really nice quality, um, really, really well made, really well put together. Um, but what I did find is, that on the particular torch that I've got here, and I've got a Blackwoods um, Blackwoods Outdoors one here that I've had for quite some time. This has been on different mounts on different rifles. <clears throat> but it, the mounting point on it is a 30mm, uh, like on a 30mm uh, rifle scope. And what I discovered is, and I should have checked really before I bought it, is that the Hick Micro IR mount is a, for a one inch tube, not 30 mil. Now it does fit on this um, this torch, because it's what I've been using, but the trouble is it fits on the bit where the, uh, the focus is. So it's supposed to slide in and out, and it's supposed to slide right up and butt against this section here. Um, but unfortunately, the only part that I can fit the mount on is on my scope rate, so it leaves me with scarcely any adjustment on the focus at all of the IR torch, which is not good <clears throat> because it's pushed out at its um, its narrowest beam. It's really focused in, which is something I don't really like, and it doesn't really agree with the scope either. Um, so I've ordered a new uh, IR illuminator with a one-inch body that will fit this uh, this this rail, this holder much better. And it's one I've had before, got it from Muttons. Um, I had this torch in my other Alpex, my, my uh, Mark 1 version Alpex, and it worked phenomenally well. Um, it really, really did in, uh, make the picture much better. Because I did use this uh, illuminator on that one, but I had it on a side mount, uh, mounted on uh, a rail. Um, and again, same problem with it being a 30mm doesn't fit, didn't fit the one inch thing. So again, same problem. So I've changed, changed it over for uh, this torch that I've bought from uh, Uttings, which should make this as good as the, well, better in fact, than the one that I had before. So, like I said, I've done a bit of field shooting with it now. I've got uh, shot some feral pigeons with it in the stables, crapping all over everything, making a right mess. I've done some rabbiting down the golf course and some rabbiting down the stables with it as well. And I'm in the process of piecing together um, some night footage through this Alpex uh, 4K. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to wait until I've got the better torch on board um, and then perhaps do some with, with this torch and then some with the, uh, the new torch that I'm able to focus in and get a more precise uh, combination between the focus of the torch and the scope, um, which always helps. So that's something I that's in process. But for now, I must admit, really impressed with this handrail. Um, yeah, they're not cheap, they're not cheap, um, but it makes a massive difference to the rifle. And it's still, when you think what you pay for these guns, it still puts these up there with, you know, sort of mid any mid-range, uh, PCP and the accuracy um, is top notch and the uh, the quality of this thing is phenomenal so far absolutely loving it
uh, it's very very accurate it's still very lightweight even with the uh, the, the, the metal for grip and with a big chunky sight on board like this hit micro 4k because these aren't small these are quite chunky sights but this rifle is still you know so light and handy um, really really superb and the quality of them is absolutely phenomenal they really are excellent quality so made up this thing so far it's performing exactly as I'd like um, I've got sleepy head here. Um, yeah, so really made up that nothing I changed really um, as regards the mechanics of this rifle. Everything, the magazines are superb, been absolutely faultless so far. Uh, loading, cocking lever works beautifully, no leaks, holds air, it's pinpoint accurate, it's a proper accurate rifle. 2 2 cal, trigger's brilliant. Um, and like I say, really lightweight, really handy size. Loving it. Drop the butt slightly, drop the butt pad slightly to bring it more into line with the, uh, the hip microscope, which again is a great feature on this thing. Um, yeah, impressed with it. It's an absolute stunning thing. There it is. And doesn't it look the biz? It is a beast of a rifle. Lovely thing very very impressed so look out for the uh, the companion video that will do of the night shooting with this rifle and this 4k scope um, have that together hopefully in the next week um, torch should arrive Tuesday Wednesday this week um, so that means I can get out there possibly Friday Saturday Sunday with it as well and do some shooting so thanks for watching and what a fantastic rifle AGT Vixen Hit Micro Alpex 4K UHD absolutely superb